YouTube followers. So don't be fooled by um, just everyone going out right now. You know, they still say on coronavirus.gov is the best thing to do. The best thing to do is to stay home. And so I know that some a lot of people out there are still going out and acting like things are okay and normal. But even the doc, the surgeon Ben Carson just got um, coronavirus. And then also there's something else going on. You know, I don't necessarily know what, but um, Kobe Bryant died. My favorite actor, uh, you know, the well, my favorite movie, the actor uh, in Life of Pi died. Um, the guy from Wakanda, uh, Just Mercy, and then also, uh, uh, it's not Wakanda, but it's uh, Black Panther. That guy died. Um, you know, Ravi Zacharias died. There's a lot of celebrities that are dying, and there's something going on. And then a million people have died from coronavirus, and it's now nine million people are infected. So it takes time for a coronavirus to get around. You know, there's seven billion people, and there's nine million people that have currently been infected with coronavirus. So, um, I would say try to be as smart as possible. Like, you know, you don't have to go to a concert this year. You know, you can take a break from it. It's not the end of the world where you have to just avoid going to uh, these things forever. So, you know, do extra. If you saw my pandemic prep, do extra, meaning, you know, um, if you think you can, you're only going to stop going to things for like two months, do three or four months is just an example to say, like, I saw a lot of people at this prayer, you know, for Franklin Graham, Billy Graham's son, Franklin Graham, and they were all not six feet apart. They were all just huddled together so closely. And um, it's not good. It's not good. Even for President Trump's rallies, they say that at those rallies, 30,000 people got infected with coronavirus. And... So, um, I wouldn't just be thinking like, you know, oh, it's not a big deal or, you know, people recover from it and different things like that, you know, take it seriously and don't be fooled by thinking like, oh, you know, Jesus said, you know, not to try to save our life. That is true. That is true. But the government also says to stay home and, and stay safe. And we're supposed to obey the government and obey, obey the laws of the land. So, um, anyway, you know, I see a lot of pictures on Instagram of people, they're huddled together, they kind of just are just like this YOLO lifestyle. And there could be those YOLO Christians out there. So don't be fooled by the Christians who are out there who, you know, are just disobeying the laws of the land. And even though we're not on lockdown, you know, and I'm not against those Christians, don't get me wrong here. I'm just saying, you know, use some smarts and not that I have all smarts, but it's not smart to just be in a pandemic what we've never seen before. I know I've never seen a pandemic before and a virus that is spreading still and they don't have a cure for it and to just be meeting in huge, large crowds, like, especially if you're getting your groceries, like, you should order groceries where you only have contact with one person versus going to a grocery store and being with so many people that are around you. So it's a big deal, you know, don't underestimate, you know, just overestimate it a little bit. And, um, you know, so a lot of people, they won't think about that. They they put it off or you don't know what's going on in their heart or in their mind or in their 
in their lives where they would cause them to try to go to a concert, you know, like, why would you go to a concert? It may be your favorite person, but you've probably seen them like so many times and yet you're showing up at a concert, like, you know, uh, it just doesn't seem like the best choice for at least a year, maybe two years. But after that, go to a concert, you know, but you have to just wait a little bit, you know, so I don't see a problem with going to a park or going for a drive or something that you're not around a lot of big, you know, crowd spaces. So I um, hope this video is helpful. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm just a little bit, I'm just waking up, so I'm not tired, but I, I have to have some more of my coffee this morning. But uh, uh, all right. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next video. See ya.